store is closed. I want to talk about it. I want to make an oh, official yeah, announcement. Happened? I want to talk about the fact that the and store is closing. Arrow. And this space. You're never going to see this space on video this again. This is the last thing filmed in here. Even though this spot, now we can reveal the location. We're approximately uh, a don't, mile and a half away. On, what? Oh. I thought you were going to say oh, the address. Oh, we're on live stream. You can't say it yet. I'm not going to say the actual address. Okay, okay. We're approximately a mile and a half away on Santa Monica Boulevard. Ha ha, nobody ever found us. <laughs> <laughs> no, a ton of people found us, but nobody ever like showed up acting weird or anything, which Thank was God. nice. Um, but anyway, everybody wants to know why the shop. Did anyone ever come to the parking lot? The parking lot? No, I've never okay, even good. had anybody. I mean, I've definitely like had people around here say, hey, Adam, how you doing? Or whatever. But mm. nobody's ever like. One time grabbing your Postmates. The Postmates guy was like, hey, can you tell Adam I said hi? Or yeah. Whatever. Mad times. Just... Mad times. The Postmates driver okay, wait, has so asked me us? for photos out here. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. Okay. So the store. I just want to lay this all out. Reasons why we're moving out of the store. Number one reason. M number one thing I want to get clear. The store is doing fine business-wise. The other day I was looking at the amount that we brought in revenue-wise with the store each year. Store is fine. Store is doing so much better right now than it ever was doing in the past. But we have problems at the store. The problems are, one, that construction next door is insanely bad like it's gonna be like, going on for at least a year <laughs> an extra like year year That's and a crazy. half two mm -hmm. years it's not some joking around construction it's a fucking three-story <laughs> deep hole in the ground that they're going to be building a parking garage i don't know how much noise there is right now there keep in mind we were doing the podcast there but the amount of noise that is on the way as they actually build that oh my, yeah, like they build ridiculous. the underground thing and the above ground shit it's terrible. Damn, that's gonna be a nightmare for it all the people It feels like the store's staying. not even safe anymore, to be honest. No, yeah, it's like there that's were holes crazy. in the wall. <laughs> they they tore down the next door, and there was a hole in our wall. You could see <laughs> through it. That's insane. I remember that. Anyway, that's <laughs> reason number one. Number two, that block was lit when we moved in there. There was like a bunch of cool stores, a bunch of fucking restaurants, etc. They're all gone. There might be a few sh shops that are like kind of cool on that block, but yeah. basically that block has just fallen off in general. To be totally honest, the, the lit part of Melrose is the other end no, because on yeah. the other end, you got Round 2, you got Brooklyn Projects, there's like a bunch of little boutiques and vintage shops and mm -hmm. everything over on that end of Melrose. When we moved to Melrose, the whole block seemed lit. Now yeah. it's like, damn, if, we, if we're going to keep the shop going, we should do it on the other side of Melrose. Melrose is constantly like that, though, where it's yeah. constantly shifting, mm. for, uh, shifting for popularity. Yeah, totally. And yeah. Uh, I mean, even now, there's like rumors that Supreme is leaving uh, Fairfax. Nobody really knows if They've that's been exactly that it. for so long. Yeah, exactly. So, but think about that. If Supreme leaves yeah. Fairfax, Fairfax is fucked up. True. So Fairfax is going to lose its luster because all those ba brands that want to be Supreme are going to probably yeah. end up leaving. All the tourists, where are they going to go? They keep, right. they keep trying to fucking push this arts district in downtown mm. or the row right they're not we'll see if until they fix the homeless problem and the I yeah. fucking hate downtown, there's no, there's no, as a person who's downtown. like steadily graduated from downtown like from that first store it's like no i'm not going back downtown yeah, please downtown. don't make downtown cool again because i can't go back down there on a daily basis like it's it's, it's i've not seen just too much it's not just downtown anymore like my parents they, they don't live that far away from uh, right here mm. and they told my mom told me that the other day when she went through the laundry room there was three homeless people taking showers <laughs> in the laundry room in west hollywood what the fuck that's what i'm saying it's just like it's like the homeless pop, uh, like problem is like getting ridiculous right. like it's it's like okay. literally insane that's unrelated to closing down the shop though but okay, uh and that but <laughs> i think those are honestly our two biggest reasons i think that the other biggest air reason too well the air conditioner well that was the thing though that's the air always been a fucking issue but the air conditioner so broke annoying. in the summer yeah. and it was like intolerable like there was absolutely there are our interviews that i'll go back and like listen to a little piece of it and i can hear the fucking weird fan audio in the back right. and i'm just like yeah it sounds terrible but um and for safety reasons yeah too. safety it just had become too much of a thing if i was gonna have another operation where it was a store and then we're working out of the back it would just have to, to be, be like padlocked exactly it would have to just be a different <laughs> setup it would just have to be like much much more separation and like yeah. you know it's like i don't want to have to have fucking a bit, bunch of big security guards standing by the fucking door and shit i just want to be able to like close the door lock the door preferably have it like upstairs so i'm i'm still like conscious of looking for different spaces like that but for the time being we're also moving out of this space because this space i mean let's list off the complaints you can't smoke weed <laughs> There's fucking Connie Chung clanking around up there with her heels. Why Water is that Connie Chung? Because in my head, it's a woman in a pantsuit. I don't know if it's true. An Asian woman in a pantsuit. I don't know if it's true, but that's yeah, just in my head. Yeah, she's always clonking around up there. And then sometimes she brings her friends, and that's even worse. It, that's way, true. Listen, women be walking, and I'm just saying. She sounds Asian to me. Um, the fact that so we can't smoke weed in here, 
weird this terrible noise audio i mean it gets hot as fucking here to be honest yeah, we haven't, even really, here. haven't really addressed that so much unfortunately but this is the weird thing is that we do have a warehouse in the valley that we've basically just been using as a warehouse up until now but it has office space mm-hmm. so that's what we are doing right now is we cool. are moving the podcast space to the warehouse and then we also have the office space that we're going to be able to work out of i honestly don't think it's going to cramp our style that much and in terms of getting there it's going to be it means we have to move pretty easy twice though what once to the warehouse and then once again after you guys find another location but we don't know because we're not sure like because like to be honest there was a space that we almost got in north hollywood that was like a big like warehouse slash office slash studio space that we were Mm going to get it would have been kind of a fucking headache because it would have been like too much space and it would have kind of stressed us out trying to fill that space with all the different things that we need, but it would have allowed us to like expand a lot and shit. Mm -hmm. So it would have been good in a way, but I mean, I'm I'm totally okay with the fact that we didn't get that because it's kind of got my head on like, but to be honest, the warehouse has a lot of space as well. Like you could definitely fit a bunch of shit in there Uh, as for green screen stuff, the podcast area, and it's, even probably an office area. It's going to be a little odd just because we're going to be telling uh, rappers to come to, to the, the warehouse, which is in the valley, a bit more. Which that, I think, will be okay. It's not that far. But the fact that it's just a warehouse and that they're going to show up and it's going to be like, oh, shit, this is really like a fucking warehouse space, huh? It's like, we'll see how, how nice we're able to make it. Oh, I think yeah. it's going to be cool. We're going to be able to smoke weed in there. So that's, that's the best that's part. But a lot of studios like are a, like that. A known, their own section for the podcast stuff. We're gonna find a way. We'll yeah. make it look all right. But make then a the beautiful yeah, hallway that leads them to this. But table. it is weird because it, it's kind of like you know, what if we saw a spot on Melrose like fucking next month or in like two months? Right that, next to round two. But the thing is, too, is that it's like <laughs> I don't want to fucking drive downtown, driving downtown just to work every day, or not downtown, but driving to Melrose every day to work. It's it's a little hectic, and also it's like I don't want to be parking my fucking car outside just behind the shop on Melrose. I'm sorry, I just think I've gotten to a point in my life where that's not safe anymore. Yeah. So it's kind of I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. Even if I had a dope spot on Melrose, I'm not sure that I would want to have us be working out of there 100. percent I think I would probably get that like in addition to the, another space. What mm-hmm. is the what's the vibe at the store and the surrounding area? Like, are there still kids that hang out outside and come by? Or there's, there's still some stragglers, but I'm pretty sure it's it's kind of weak now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just remember how lit it was. You can tell how beginning. how busy it is based off how many card player guys there are out, out on the street <laughs> trying to finesse people, and you don't see the card player guys anymore. What's a card so player guy? The guys uh, who uh, like um, they do the three card monster with a little ball in the yeah. cup or whatever and you get seen those guys are oh yeah they're, they're they're like no they've been around for years but they oh. they just are like straight con artists and they i just... have a vlog where wiggy um little peeps you know old music video filmer loses like five six hundred dollars to them what? yeah virgo, ba- virgo bands lost Jeez. like 500 bucks to the dude too and then the guy fucking just dipped off and virgo was so mad and virgo's like i'm gonna go back i'm gonna get my money back i'm gonna go keep playing and no. we're like the game is rigged, Thank man. You. you can't get it back. He's just going to scam you again. Even if you win, that dude has three, four homies that are across the street, and they're going to jump you and take their money back. <laughs> Why is there a phone on the ground? Whose phone is this? Mine. Wow, I was on the ground. It Pretty dropped, fun. and I just let it stay there. Pretty rad no of you. Given. What is this, periwinkle? Um, lavender. Lavender. Somebody at home. Get that. So Do you have that color book, the, the chart? No, Did you I guys, don't. Um, See the actual location of the house that Pop Smoke was in? No. It's, it's, I, it's I, I scary didn't, and I it think is. it's weird that people looked at the address and look it up and see how far that they are from the house. Well, like, the, why are you doing all that? Dude, I, I grew up in like in, in West Hollywood or whatever because I, you know, I came here when I was immigrant a long time ago. But anyways, I know that area. Yeah. And that house where he's at is like, it's scary that something like that happened right over there. Like, literally, that whole area is nothing but fucking millionaires, a bunch of like, you know, huge houses that you would but, expect to have like security. But those are the houses that people want to fucking rob. It's the it's, chick who owned it was like some famous actress or whatever, and she was just Airbnb in it to pop smoke. Oh my fucking god! Imagine dude. that you you buy a house, you, you do an Airbnb, and then like like take the fact that Pop Smoke got killed there, and, and that's a tragedy. Think about just owning an Airbnb and then somebody just gets brutally murdered in it. That's got to be fucking like Insane. absolute worst case scenario. Bro. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, I've maybe like maybe somebody burns it down would be worse. Some of those houses up there in the, in the hills, you kind of start thinking like 
if something were to happen up here, how long would it take for cops to come? It seems like the perfect place to commit a crime almost because cops yeah. don't be cr uh, patrolling the Hollywood Hills. You know, they, those crazy long exactly. hills going up the mountains are almost impossible. Could right. you imagine seeing a cop up there? You're Fuck never, no. yeah, you're never going to see. There's it. no fucking service up there for and half some, of it. In some places, it will take you 30 minutes of like curvy roads to get to a like you know to a house. It's scary as fuck driving up those roads and just weird because you're like thinking a car is going to come. I and know, and it's like there's only space for one fucking car, so you have to like pull over and. And I mean, the yeah. the thing I wonder, though, is like, you know, a lot of times when people get killed in cities, it feels like there's so many cameras and there's so many like potential ways that they could get your license plate that people are just able to figure it out pretty easily. I just wonder to what extent that's possible in the hills, because at the end of the day, if they have like a description of what the car was and like there's only so many roads that lead up into the hills, you mm -hmm. know, it's like, is there a way that they're going to be able to to like go back through the cameras and find out by, by looking at the cameras? I don't know. But if this murder goes unsolved for a long time, that's going to be some crazy ass shit because, you know, like when Nipsey dies, it's like. At least within a couple of days, we knew exactly how <laughs> Nipsey died. So there's not yeah. really like room for people to get that crazy with the conspiracy theories. If they never figure it out with Pop Smoke, it's going to look crazy. It's going to be like the Tupac and Biggie shit. It's definitely like the Biggie shit because like Pop Smoke, how many, how much content has he released so far? Not that much. And he's on the way up. Kind of like how Just Biggie was. Just put out his first album. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Biggie was in the same position, right? Just put out his first album or something like That's that. That's true. Pac had like 10 albums up by the time he got killed. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fucking crazy. But dude, yeah, I saw the like the place where that house was and it's. It's, is it really far up the hill? No, it's like literally as soon as you make a turn into Laurel Canyon, it's like the first corner. It's like right there. Laurel Canyon and what? Oh, wait, you mean like off of Hollywood? Like, yeah, off of Hollywood, you make a turn into Laurel Canyon. The f Like one of the first ro roads to the right, it's like that house right there. Oh, so that's like a couple miles from my house. That's I had no what, idea it was that close. That's what I'm saying. Jesus it's literally Christ. right there in Hollywood and uh, in, uh, in Fairfax or like where Fairfax turns into Laurel Canyon or whatever. No, um, then that was, sounds like they should have a lot of fucking cameras yeah, Watching exactly. It feels, like, it feels like it, right? But at That's the same insane. time, there's actually a lot of small streets in the hills where, like, if you know what you're doing, you can, you know, finesse your way around and, like, not be seen, to be honest. I mean, yeah. the question is just what level of sophistication these dudes were moving at. And, and, who, I, and where are they from and who are they? I want to know what it was about so bad. Like, R.I.P. Pop, because that honestly, like, got to hang out with him. Super cool guy. I was unbelievably, like, confident in where his career was going, going yeah. forward. I want to know what the fuck makes somebody do that to you because that shit's crazy. But people are reporting that he was canceling shows, that he I actually that. was worried about shit. I mean, he was doing this gangbanging thing, but who, you know, we, I'm sitting here assuming that that's New York politics and then you come to LA and for the most part, that shit don't matter. Dom is live was uh, saying that it might be linked to the Lamborghini he stole that was in Los no, Angeles. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe it. The Lamborghini was like it was a official dealership or, yeah. or whatever, and they drove it across state lines because they didn't. I don't mm -hmm. know. They didn't know that it was leased or something, and and they reported to the cops. I doubt they're gonna report to the cops and then put a hit on him to kill yeah. him. Yeah, dude, it's what's not happening? Like what's that. really crazy though is like before Pop's death is like I feel like a lot of people who uh, lived in the hills and just like a lot of people in general didn't have that much anxiety level, but because of these four dudes, I feel like everyone is like on their toes now, thinking like, holy shit. Anything can happen at any time, especially if you're, like, you know, more well, affluent. I was watching uh, some YouTube videos, and they're saying, I mean, this isn't the first, I mean, the first big case where someone gets murdered, but they they rob the hills all the time. They, they rob the hills, but this wasn't a robbery. When, when mm. we were still open to the possibility that it was just a robbery, yeah. I don't think anybody was that freaked out because, mm -hmm. the, like, we all know... I mean, fucking YG and Draco the Ruler have made whole albums about going to people's houses in the hills and robbing them. Yeah. That's regular shit that we know that people do. If somebody had done that to Pop Smoke and Pop Smoke put up a fight and he got killed, we all understand it sucks, it's fucked up, but that is something that's pretty easy for us to wrap our heads around. The situation has as has been laid out is completely different because it looks like they just straight up murdered him. Yeah, but do you think that people in the hills, these billionaires, should be scared that they're going to get a hit on them? I don't think Hell so. Hell no. Just don't join the Crips and you'll be all right, lady. <laughs> um, but listen, this is the whole thing about it is that now everybody who lives up in fucking Hollywood Hills, et cetera, since I kind of am part of this fucking homeowner community <laughs> now, <laughs> um, we all have this app. <laughs> We all have these fucking cameras outside our house, and you can just look at the fucking. I, I don't have it. I let Lana deal with it because she's the man of the house. But I want to get it at some point, and it basically just shows you. App, it'll yeah. show you any movement, any activity in your front yard. And I mean, okay, Trisha Paytas was uh, telling us that she just straight up has like seen guys just like walk into her front yard, 
go to her car, open up the doors, look through, go through all her shit, not That's find so anything, creepy. and then just walk out. Jesus. I'm like, oh my God. Like, we have a gate in front of our, our crib. So I think that's why we like don't Deal have with that. a lot of issues like this. But at the same time, I mean, if we have a package in front of our house, like now the Amazon prime driver or whatever, he's able to get in, like there's a special code so that we know if it's him using the code mm-hmm. yeah. and that way he can bring our packages into the front door or whatever. But if we leave an Amazon package outside our house for like fucking an hour or two, like that shit is gone for sure. Jesus Christ. Really? Even yeah. Though, wow. It's crazy. Honestly. <laughs> Jumper.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want one of these, you know where to go. And then No Jumper Facebook too. Link is down in the description. Some good stuff going on over there. Appreciate y'all watching this.